on YouTube, Chicky D614 here. And of course, you can notice what's different about me. I have yarn braids in my hair that I've been working on for the past, well, not straight, but 10 hours. I've been doing this for 10 hours now, not 10 hours straight because I don't have time. I started yesterday at 9 a.m. And I worked for two hours, and I had to go to eat lunch, and I had to go to class, and after class, I worked for another two hours, we had to go to my next class. And then I went to dinner, and did some homework, and then, <clears throat> and then um, at like 11 o'clock the last night is when I started doing it again, and I did that till 5 in the morning. So, yeah, about 10 hours so far. I mean, it wouldn't took as long if some people didn't interrupt me, but... That's the problem with sharing a dorm with a bunch of girls, yay. But, hey, here's my hair so far. I put it up in this little ponytail thingy crisscrossing in the front. Can't really tell it's crisscrossing, but I thought it's crisscrossing. Because my middle section right here is still not done, and I have to go to work today. So I was like, what do I, I need, I, that's why I stayed up till five, figuring out something to do to it, get it done enough so that I can at least do a style and hide the spark bleh, the part that's not done and be able to be in public and sell lingerie <laughs> so this is what they look like this is my first time ever doing any form of an extension in my hair like i don't know how to braid i don't know how to cornrow well, i know how to like single braid so i figured you know let me give this a shot i just didn't know how to attach hair and stuff and then i watched like a lot of people did black onyx's videos and in the past i watched a lot of videos about how to do extensions I just never tried it because I didn't feel like paying for the hair but I was like you know what yarn is cheaper so I'll try that um my yarn was 297 I didn't feel like going to Walmart I just went to outside Joanne's because it was right next to Sally's and I just wanted to make two trips you know I mean like to kill, kill two birds with one stone I didn't want to have to drive so it was 297 but I know it was 279 sorry and I know you can get it cheaper at Walmart because I saw it at Walmart the other day and I was like oh two dollars but I didn't remember what brands. So I didn't want to buy the wrong brand, so I waited. But yes, here it is. The little ponytail. Some pieces are sticking up in the back. So, some of my pieces are a little loose. Like, they're not as close to the scalp as they could be because I really, I would get confused sometimes. But as I started going, you know, they would get better and better. And my, my parts are not neat. I didn't want them to be neat because I didn't care. I mean, if you're all up in my head looking at my parts, then you deserve to see uneven parts. I don't remember what YouTuber said that, but I totally agree with her. And I was like, girl, I agree. Like, if you're literally that obsessed with neat parts that you're all up in my head to see it, um, you deserve to see uneven parts. So, they're not neat. But it looks more natural when it's not neat. Like, I, when I used to get braces as a kid, I used to hate that, how neat and I could see my scalp so much. Like, I, I, when they got, like, a week or two old and, you know, like, everything started to kind of, like, Clothes. It's not clothes, but the more hair started to come out or something. I don't know. I love that. I love the hair then. I was like, yay, it doesn't look like I'm dying. So there it is. My genie locks or yarn braids or fake dreads or whatever. And this will let me see what I would look like with dreads anyways. You know, I might consider them. They're really cute. I might consider them later in life. Maybe after like I've been natural like five years. And then I would do some dreads or something. Or if I have kids and I really just don't think I could handle trying to manage a big old cliff throw like mine. But who knows? It'd be really cute. And they're really easy to do. I would recommend watching the tutor uh, tutorials, whether it be a tutorial on how to like add extensions in your hair or yarn braids. And I know Black Onyx has a great tutorial. Everybody knows this because everybody talks about it every time they do the yarn braids. So I really don't feel like repeating, but she has a great tutorial. Because it's really in depth, and there's a, not a lot of other tutorials out there I watch to see how you know different methods people use. I know some people did like yarn twists, like like e twist but with yarn. I tried doing it, and it was just too complicated for me. So <laughs> I was like, I know how to braid, so let's stick with the braids. And yeah, they're not the neatest things. You know, I got some bulges here and there because my hand wasn't consistent. But I mean, I don't really care. The, even the length isn't consistent like I wanted it to be I'm, but I'm going for like a layered look anyways so I really don't feel too bad and it's all it all stops about shoulder length so yeah all right 
that's all you guys just wanted to show you my hair this is like me celebrating the fact that i've been one year post relaxer so i'm doing my hair break i'm gonna try i'm gonna finish it on thursday i show you guys like all completely but this is my new style my first style with a, a little crisscrossy ponytail and but yeah this is me celebrating by giving my hair at least two months i'm gonna try to keep them in for two months but a two month break and for the summer like literally that's my summer may june and then i'll take it off it would be july um 13th when i take them out celebrating my 10 months of being natural at the time so yay yay but i'll see how my hair is then if it's easier to just like twist on its own then i'll probably just do like twists and twist outs for like the last few months of summer before yeah before i i don't know get into my winter regimen fall regimen Okay, you guys, I am peacing out. Oh, and there's my makeup today. I'm going to work. That's why my makeup's done. Okay, I don't really know if you care or want to see a tutorial. It's not that special. It's just everyday makeup. But, I am peacing out, guys. Bye-bye.